Hello and welcome to the video portion of how to make all browsers render HTML5 markup correctly, even IE6. So the main issue is there are HTML5 elements like article, hgroup, um, nav, footer. These are more semantic elements. That way you don't always have to use div id equals header or div id equals footer. Instead, you just use the header element or the footer element respectively. Now, this works great in most modern browsers, but the problem is in Internet Explorer 6, uh, the engine will come across these elements and it has no idea what they are, so it pretty much ignores them completely and your layout doesn't uh, work consistently. So let's see how we can work around this using a bit of JavaScript. So let's go into Coda, and I'm just going to close these out and bring up my file browser. And I'm going to create a new folder called HTML5. And just to give you a quick example, rather than doing div id equals header, we can just do header. Rather than doing div id equals footer, you can simply do footer. It just makes more sense. It's much more semantic. But as I said with IE, there are some problems. So let's see how we can work around this. What I'm going to do here is this is the demo that, uh, that Bill created for us. So I'm just going to swipe that. That way we have something to work with. And I'm going to bring it into my browser and save it as index.html. Now if we view it, we get this layout right here. And the reason is we need to add some CSS as well. So because there's nothing too important here other than this property right here. Notice how we are selecting all of the HTML5 elements and we are setting the display to block to ensure that they are treated in the same way that a div is treated as a block level element. The rest is just styling that we don't need to worry about. Okay, You would do it with uh, even your divs. So I'm going to take that and new file is main.css and I think I saved this to the wrong folder so let me We'll fix that shortly. Let's go back to edit view and I'm going to go to the top and you can see he's referencing it but let's make sure we change it to main.css. Okay, So let me hide this and make sure I drag that folder in like so. Now if we go back to preview and now you can see it's it's displaying correctly. So now let's take a look. I can assure you it's going to work in Firefox, Opera, Chrome, Safari, both of those use the WebKit engine. But now let's take a look at it in Internet Explorer. So I'm going to fire up VMware Fusion and let's just go to view to, uh, we'll do a single window and let's close that out. That's from a previous project. Okay, and now I'm going to take this HTML5 folder that we're working on and I'm going to drag it in. And now I'm going to open up the file and clean this up a little bit and you can see that it's not displaying anything at all. And once again, the reason is because the engine comes across those elements and it doesn't know what to do, right? So let's go ahead and just move that to the trash and see what the workaround is. I'm going to go back to edit view and it's pretty simple. With JavaScript all we need to do is create these elements. Now the great thing is we don't even have to inject them into the DOM. Simply by creating the elements will force IE to uh, render them correctly. Okay, so we're going to do document.createElement, and the first one is going to be header, and then we just need to do this for each one that we need. So I'm going to copy that. I think we have about five. So we have header, footer, nav, article, and age group, and that should be good for now. So I'm going to save that, and now close this out, and let's just once again drag that back in. View this in the browser. And now you can see it's working correctly. Okay, and it is it is understanding what those elements are thanks to the JavaScript. Now, things you need to be aware of. Uh, it, this now means that your project is dependent upon JavaScript. So if a user is using Internet Explorer but has JavaScript disabled for some reason, it is going to make your layout look like it did before. So that's something you need to consider. Uh, be sure to re read Bill's article as well, and always follow net.touchplus.com for the best tutorials and screencasts available. I will see you guys later. I'm Jeffrey Way. Bye.